Hello fellow gamers and welcome to my channel. The goal of this walkthrough series starting from this video is to remove all of your doubts, fear and confusion you may feel on this beautiful system that gives Final Fantasy VIII a very higher playability value and making you a master at it. Junction in may seem intimidating at first, but I promise you, once you understand how the junction system works, the game will be way more enjoyable to play as you will be able to set your own play style and challenging ways to play the game. Let's jump into it, shall we? So the first thing we want to do is opening the junction menu. To do so, open the main menu, select junction and then a character you want to work with. I'm going to select squall. Junction uh, is the first option you will have in the junction menu. So let's just do that. Confirm, then select GF. Junction allows you to connect a guardian force to your character. And through that guardian force you will be able to assign magic to your attributes and increase their values. This is the basic of junctioning. Besides that, the other important thing is once you junction your GF to the character, you will be able to customize your uh, combat menu for the character. So let's select, after confirming on the GF option, um, a Guardian Force to give to Squall. So, Squall is junctioned to Shiva at the moment. I'm going to junction Quetzalcoatl to Squall instead of Shiva. How do you junction a Guardian Force? Select the Guardian Force you have at your disposal from the menu and then press the Confirm button. Now Quetzalcoatl is junction to Squall. It is confirmed by the name on the menu that you can see on the left. Beside that, Quetzalcoatl is now grayed out and does a small square icon next to its level. That means that Quetzalcoatl is now junction to Squall. Now we will be able to customize Squall combat menu. To do so, let's close the GF Junctioning menu by pressing the Cancel button, press Cancel again. Now this menu, the Auto menu, you can ignore it for the entire game, because I'm going to teach you how to assign magic properly to your attributes so that you won't need to use this menu that is most of the time incorrect and will assign uh, the wrong magic uh, to your attributes. Concerning that, we'll open the customization menu for the combat. You can open this menu by going to the ability option on the most right side of this junction menu and pressing confirm. The ability menu will open. It, it allows you to actually customize your menu. So let's work on it. The first menu is the command menu. The attack option is mandatory. You can't actually remove it or change it with anything else. The other option we can actually assign to the command menu are on the right side of the command menu. We can see different options like magic, gf, draw and item. I'm going to explain each one of these so that you can utilize them properly. Let's select a slot on the command menu then press the confirm button. Now you will be able to select magic. So select magic and press confirm. Now magic is assigned to the second slot in your command menu when you, when you actually fight. 
Magic allows you, as the help says, to cast magic on the enemy or your party. Remember that this command can be a double-edged sword, depending on how you plan to play the game. Because magic in this game is consumed through casting. Every character can stock magic using the draw command. Draw command allows a character to draw magic from enemies and sources. It's a very important command and I suggest you to have at least one character uh, dedicated to drawing magic. Draw magic allows you to cast magic without actually drawing the spell itself. The other command that we can see is Guardian Force GF. You can actually summon Guardian Forces that are your summons in this game. The other command is Item, a very helpful command. In my opinion, most of these commands are not mandatory to complete Final Fantasy VIII, to beat the game, right? So you must customize your menu according to your playstyle and how you want to play the game. Let's complete this list. I'm going to assign to the third slot here, draw, and then I'm going to assign item. Okay, this is just an example. And that's everything for customizing the common menu. Now, the menu under the common menu is called a BD menu, and I will explain how this works better in a future video. Let's try to junction something to Squall. We can actually assign magic to your attributes. If we actually remove the guardian force that we assigned to Squall, as you can see, the, the attributes are great. That means that we can actually junction any magic to our character. When we assign a guardian force, we can see that some attributes comes white. That means that we can now, now actually junction the second option from the junction menu to your attributes. And when we assign magic to your attribute, the attributes will increase and your character will become stronger. In the next video, I'm going to explain how magic actually affects your attributes in more detail. But to make things more clear from this video, let's try to assign a magic from the magic menu to the strength command. So remember that the magic menu contains every single magic that Squall draws during the game. You can give magic to character by exchanging magic in the magic menu. So if I want to give Squall a magic without drawing, I can give a magic that Zell owns. As an example, that Zell got 100 Kuraga, alright? So I can select Kuraga and then uh, Squall and give Squall uh, the Kuraga magic. I will explain how this works better in the future. But for now, let's just give Squall a magic from the magic he got. Magics are stocked in this game. And the more units you have of a magic, the better is the increase to the attribute. Let's give Squall Faraga. Exactly as junctioning Guardian Forces, you can see that Faraga is now greyed out and close to the number of stocked Faraga, you can see a small square icon. That icon means that Faraga is actually junctioned. To remove Faraga, you can press the square button or you can actually go to the menu and select the file again. You can see that the attribute will go down back to 31. This is everything for this video. I'm going to recap 
some of the stuff we explain. So, Junction allows you to connect Guardian Forces to your character in order to customize your combat menu, selecting the ability command. The command menu is the combat menu, and you can assign different commands. In order to Junction Magic, you can actually set magic, and the attribute will actually increase depending on which magic and the stocks you have. Thank you for listening guys, I hope the video was helpful, see you in the next video, bye bye!